Hi you guys, it's me Vionique. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you guys are returning, you know you guys are awesome. So today's video is going to be a first impressions. I'm gonna try and do a wear test um, with the Bye Bye um, Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer. It is not in my shade, so if it doesn't look right, it's okay, because I'm not going anywhere. It's not my shade. I don't care. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in how this plays out um, and how bad my face looks probably at the end of this video, keep on watching. Um, I'm probably going to do my normal primer routine. Um, so I'm going to put down the ugh, Too Faced Primer and Peachy Cooling Mattifying Primer because um, I want to give this a good shot and I typically, let me just adjust my mirror, um, use this anyway with my foundation. Routine, and I'm gonna really get a good amount on there because we want this to keep these oils at bay. Then, for my second primer that I always put on top is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Now normally I do set my primer, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take, I didn't put any of my Ipsy stuff away. Oh my God. So like my area is really messy. You guys can't see it, but for me it's like. So I'm just gonna. Only doing in my problem areas. Now for the moment of truth. God. I'm gonna use my beauty blender. I'm gonna start out with one pump on either side of my face. Oh my God, look how that is. Oh, thank God I'm not going out anywhere. And I'm just gonna spread this out. The consistency is on the thicker side, so that's nice. Okay, Ugh. here we go. Oh my god. It has a scent, and I don't really like it. The person is not that bad, but it is light. So immediate thoughts. The coverage is pretty good. Um, I was sent the wrong color. So, I mean, you know, there's that. I feel like if Ipsy or any subscription box is going to send you a foundation to at least let you pick the foundation because the one that they sent me, as you guys can see, is way too light. I mean, maybe in the winter time when I am not so tan, but it's, mm. so I'm going to go ahead and set this down. Um, actually, you know it. No, I'm going to add concealer first. Now I'm afraid to add the concealer that I typically would because it's darker than, look at that, look at that difference. So I'm going to go in with my winter highlighter. In the summertime I use the dark one. I don't know, I just feel like it didn't cover my circles or anything. So I'm just gonna add a little coverage down here. There's a little redness peeking through. Nothing too major though. Oh, thank God I'm not going anywhere today. Thank God. I'm using MAC 
and Patrick Stars Lab setting powder. I love this stuff. Just bear with me. I'm going to try to make this work just for the purposes of this video. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and then I will jump back on. Okay, you guys, I'm so done. I'm not even gonna continue trying to make this look good. I've been sitting here for a few minutes now and I started the bronzer and it, the color didn't look so bad. I mean, I had to lay it on a little bit as you can see, but the, the foundation keeps on wiping off even with the bronzer. Every time I patch, like, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because like, I'm so, like, can you see that? Like it just, I could see like all my um, broken capillaries and stuff. Um, so that's that there. I tried contouring my nose. That's wiping off more. Here is not blending. I felt like this is coming off as well. I can see it. Look at that. I mean, if I go like that, look at that. I've never had that problem. Oh my god, look at that. It's just at the slightest touch just coming off and it's, it doesn't help blending powders on top. And I've set this and I've baked with it and still nothing. And I've set my primer. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe as, I would not say foundation. Full coverage, tinted moisturizer. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Bye bye foundation. I this is not no way I would classify this as a foundation. Moisturizer, full coverage moisturizer. Um, I mean, which it does say full coverage moisturizer, but bye bye foundation. <laughs> you know, um, I definitely wouldn't have bye bye foundation on this. Um, not one little bit. But yeah, I'm not even continuing. I'm gonna take this all off and thank God I don't have to go anywhere. Okay guys, so I just took this all off and I was like, you know what, let me just try it as a moisturizer. Um, no primer, no nothing. I just literally took a makeup remover wipe. As you see here, I took everything off. Like I even tried taking off my brows, I was so disgusted. Um, so then before I wash my face, I put this back on. The color doesn't look that bad. It's still a little light for me, just a smidgen. Um, but let me zoom you in. I did set everything. I used my beauty blender to do so. Um, that's what we're looking like right now. Excuse my pimple situation. Um, as something that is just like for those people that aren't into foundation, so far it was better maybe it was the primers that's why i wanted to put this on to see how it would react mm, is this my type of cup of tea no because i don't think this is going to hold back any of my oils i wanted to try putting on the bronzer to see if it would wipe away so i'm just going to take whatever was left on my brush and i'm gonna yeah it's still coming off <laughs> this is bullshit um i don't know if you guys can see that But yeah, so you can't put anything on top of this unless like stippling it on maybe, but even still, like I'm not trying to put pressure on and I don't know if you guys can see. I can't, oh yeah, a little bit right here. That's coming off. <sighs> so, Already, I'm just, I'm not even gonna go any further. I'm gonna leave this on my face. I'm not gonna do a wear test because I don't believe this is gonna last, not one little bit. Um, bye bye foundation, no. Tinted moisturizer, yes. Full coverage moisturizer. Um, put anything on top of it, no. <laughs> Cause it's just wiping away. And I have no primer underneath, so there's nothing to really slip and slide with. Final thoughts, I would not buy it. I'm super disappointed. Um, I'm hoping maybe I can find someone that'll take it off my hands. It's just gonna sit in my drawer. But yeah, that's my uh, final thoughts on that.
And if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, seeing that subscription button to join my little beehive, and leave a comment down below on your thoughts on this product, if you tried it, if you want to try it. Um, and hit that notification bell, that way you'll be notified of any future content, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!